We're addressing the problem of food security. Population is increasing at a tremendous rate and we're currently not keeping up our food production to match that rate of population increase. So our challenge really is to improve crops so that we can produce more food for people in continents like Africa and Asia. We'll be tackling the problem of food security by trying to improve the photosynthetic efficiency of crops because we believe that that will increase uh, biomass production and the end grain and output. We are part of an international consortium that's taking on that challenge and we'll be looking at how to improve photosynthesis from many different angles. Photosynthesis is absolutely critical to food production in the world. It takes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and sunlight and converts it into sugars and biomass and that's fundamentally important for food production. Now it turns out that our crop plants are actually less efficient than, than we'd like them to be. There are opportunities to improve the efficiency of photosynthesis and thereby increase food production from those crop plants. And in the bigger context we have to increase food production in the world by 2050 by nearly double. So there's, there's a huge number of problems that can be looked at in a consortium such as RIPE to then take the best people from different labs around the world to try to improve that problem in plants. This research really builds on 20 years of experience on photosynthesis research here at ANU and we'll be working with an excellent international team and consortium and putting it all together I think we have real chance to deliver on improved crop production which will help third world agriculture and food production.